welcome to this entry which is called the speed of light revision and i start out with a quote from mr spock fascinating maybe you'll share his opinion here's a question for the curious mind why do we think that the speed of light is the limit maybe it just sticks to it maybe it just sticks to the limit and to give you an easy example out of everyday life you could go and measure the speed of cars on the interstate and the result might be a maximum speed of 70 miles per hour that you measure. With this result, you could say the speed of a car is 70 miles per hour. But of course the truth is that all drivers just obey the speed limit, which happens from time to time. And knowing this truth, the first statement pretty much looks stupid. Well, we already know that there's more to light than we currently know. Here's a short refresher on quantum electrodynamics, which shows that pretty much. Okay, so the speed of light is constant, is it? Well, yes, the speed of light is said to be constant in pure vacuum, moving through other media like water or glass, light slows down. Well, in fact, it doesn't really slow down. It just needs time for re-emission, so what does it mean? Looking at this diamond, the index of refraction is 2.4, so light moves 2.4 times slower inside of it, but it gets faster immediately after exiting the diamond. And the answer to this is that the photon that exits the diamond wasn't the photon that entered the diamond in the first place. Okay, next chapter, light moves straight, does it? And you can only say, maybe because the path of light can't be predicted in the moment you would watch the light it would choose a different path than it would take if you wouldn't watch so everything is based on possibilities and right here you see a possible path of light traveling through vacuum it could look like this also looking into a mirror the angle of incidence isn't necessarily the angle of reflection it can be, but it doesn't have to be, and it could look like this. This phenomenon explains that uh, you see like the hot flickering road in the sun, and this flickering is the reflection of the sun, light that didn't move straight, but uh, the fastest. Let's go back to our initial question of why do we think that the speed of light is the limit? Maybe it just sticks to the limit. And uh, most of the time you can answer a question with a better question or just try to. And um, this would be what would happen if the speed of light were to be infinite. And we can answer this one uh, because the night sky would be brightly illuminated. Our communication would probably be impossible because of uh, signal pollution. We could immediately see what's happening in the whole universe and the universe would be connected in the now. This brings me to say that the speed of light is the speed at which the local now travels. Okay, uh, what's that? So, Right here looking at Earth, uh, the Moon and Mars, each, uh, and I say, uh, your planet has a local now because the now of the Moon reaches us after 1.5 seconds and the now of the Mars reaches us after about four minutes. And now imagine a tree on Earth and a leaf falling down. So this event of creation triggers what I call the now wave. And after 1.5 seconds to the Moon and four minutes to the Mars, the leaf is also falling down for them. And what happens is that all centers of creation are sending out now waves to Pacific, every single point in space sends out a now wave, always. These points we're talking about could be each one Planck length, which is said to be the smallest distance something can be known about. And looking at the second part of this famous formula, E is uh, mc squared, we also see that E is uh, equal to the Planck constant times frequency. At this point, 
we are able to revise the meaning of the speed of light. So summing up, creation or change communicates itself and this happens at the speed of light. So matter consciousness needs to communicate its constant creation and creation always happens in the now but it has a delay through space. Taking this it would make sense to consider the speed of light truly as the delay of now. And this delay of now, speed, is the true limit. Light just sticks to this speed limit and um, especially with light being our main medium that we can perceive. This speed though is necessarily constant through the existence of the universe so it might have changed in the past and it might change in the future again. Anyway this uh, interpretation would cancel out the possibility of time travel. From here we can do another big step but it's just another question. Right now we say mass is more gravity and that's more creation but would it make sense to rearrange this to more creation means more mass and more gravity so does creation bend space after all with this understanding the Lorentz factor gets a whole new meaning because it's basically describing the the Doppler effect of creation and as a reminder the Lorentz factor is what's sitting in each aspect of relativity. So far we were looking at the now waves from the top, well at least in our picture here. But we can also look at the waves from the side. In reality these waves expand in all directions of course. The only problem is that we cannot imagine the four dimensions that were necessary for this. Imagine you're sitting idle in a rocket on Earth, then the image of this rocket is sent out with the speed of light. Approaching the speed of light, you would still send out this light, but since you're moving so fast, you chase the first wave with the second wave. And layering these two waves, you would see that they amplify themselves, and if we say that more creation is more mass, then the mass of the rocket would increase. When actually matching the speed of light or the speed of creation, all the simultaneously created waves would amplify themselves towards infinite. Quite the same would apply for a black hole. It wouldn't send out a wave, but uh, bending it and preventing any escape of creation. That's it for so far. Thanks for staying with me. There's more to come, so keep your eyes open.